say I'm going to which you go. They say I'm going to go to them. They ask you, ask you wrong. Where's my dick? I say I'm, me, I'm just coming. I'm coming this variety of my dick. I'm not saying I'm dick. I, I say it open. They say okay, I'm going to go. They started beating me, beating me up, asking some of them to come and bring handcuffs to handcuff me, that they should get me arrested. That is how it is. All of a sudden. It's actually the truth. What, what uh, uh, our people explained were well, exactly what they did. They beat a lot of us to, uh, almost to death. There is one boy that is not here yet. They, they beat him to death. That that this boy fell down and they started beating him that he must get up from where he, he was on the ground. So even the women, our different uh, women, women, my daughter. On the road, they were, uh, they were pushing him to, the, to the, the, that the kind of, uh, the way he, he, she fell, it was terrible, with bruises all over her body. That's why she cannot she, get up. That's why she couldn't come here. We are even looking for her. Okay. So we are actually uh, beating uh, her out of us. The women, the African women leader, uh, the report I'm getting now is that the woman is still missing. Yes. And the world should understand that. These people are pressing us to the world, and uh, we expect the world uh, community to look into how things are going in this country, Nigeria. Uh, nobody is a monopoly of uh, violence. Uh, the only thing is that when people are being pushed to the world, they may run out of patience. And uh, uh, anybody that uh, uh, has been to the or gone through the history of uh, Igbo people or Biafran people as a whole. We are not cowards, but the only thing is that we are civilized people. And uh, we, if we, if we decide to follow the path of uh, violence, I think this country will no longer be. But we are still uh, expecting that the world leaders should come and do the needful. Because there is no need to destroy poor masses and the general public. We are not uh, 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 cowards, I repeat it once again. Let them stop pushing our people to the wall. Yes, because yes. I have, I, have to, I, have to quickly, I have to quickly add that uh, Mazen Nandekano is a man who is from a particular family unit. Mazen Nandekano has families, he has in-laws, he has... Somebody, somebody called the... Okay. Okay. Yes, as I was saying, Mazidnan the Kano has families, he has brothers, he has sisters, he has in-laws, he has people. Anybody in this world who has any court case is of the right that he can have people who can come to show solidarity with him. And these people here... And They test us, test us out of federal secretary. Shooting, which network you know? Okay, so as I was saying, um, we are sorry for the break in transmission. We actually, one of our journalists actually wanted to get reconnected. The, the reason for people coming from all over the places, coming from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, even we have people who are coming from outside the country at the shores of Nigeria to show solidarity, to show love, to show support. Even if somebody is a criminal, the person still reserves the right to stand 
fair hearing in the court. And if the person still reserves the right to have people who can come around to show support, solidarity, and even pity to that same person. And Mazen Namdekano is not exempted from any of all these things. Mazen Namdekano have all these people as friends. He has them as family members, and he has them as brothers, and he has them as IPOB family members. As it stands right now, they have not come to kill anybody, even as they have been standing here and becoming all this while right from the first time he was arrested in 2015 till this date, they have been conducting themselves very peacefully and in a very peaceful manner, carrying out their uh, solidarity chants and all that. They have not killed anybody or disrupted anybody's peace or taking whatsoever that belongs to other people. They come here on their own, taking at their own expenses, taking the pen and leaving their businesses and their works and abandoning their families just to come and show support, just to come and show support to their leader. And it is unfair that the police, the Nigeria police, will begin to, and their soldiers and all their forces, including the DSS and all, all of them, will begin to spread tear gas, will begin to beat them and batter them, including old women, as old as she is, and even the one they, they are testifying that uh, the Biafra Land Women leader, who is as old as being over 70 years, she is like a mother to Mazen Namdekana, and out of that motherly love, she traveled all the way from the east, coming down to this place to come and show solidarity. And all she could get is being beaten up and being humiliated in the streets of Abuja. As we speak right now, we don't know her mental health, we don't know her health conditions, and we don't even know her whereabouts. We are alerting all the authorities, we are calling all those, all those who are... Uh, human rights activists, we are calling all the international communities who know what human rights is all about, who know how to respect people and their rights, that they should prevail on the Nigeria government and their military forces to stop harassing Ibus, or to stop harassing Biafra, to stop harassing people who come to show solidarity to Mazen Namdekano. Even if they have called him a criminal, even if they have called him a terrorist, but there are still people who are coming to say that this man you are condemning, it is not the same person we see him as whom you are condemning. That is to say that he is not a criminal. Okay, thank you very he much. is not a criminal. Uh, please, so, uh, uh, Re Reverend, thank you very much, sir. Reverend, uh, uh, the report coming to us says that they denied him crime. Mm -hmm. Since we know that this man is not a criminal, and if you go to the northern side, you see terrorists carrying guns and going here and there. Somebody like uh, Gumi saying a lot of things, how he's encouraging the terrorists, how he's having meetings with them. None of them have been queried. But this man that is seeking for liberation of his people, the man has been treated like a criminal, denying bail, called a lot of things and terrorists. What do you have to say in conditions like this, where they deny an innocent person there? I will start with a question. What is Nigeria trying to hide? I'm almost, almost driven to tears by these testimonies of people being brutalized. Look at somebody's son being wounded like that. By the time he gets fed up with this lack of justice and becomes a monster, the world will look for who to blame. But the, my response is that this story has an antecedent. It didn't just start now. Britain, I will not stop calling you until you repent and begin to retrace your state. You killed millions of us in 1967 because of your greed for oil. And it, you are not satisfied. The Igbo nation was raped because in Igbo we have two principal canal principles that we live by: Ofo and Ogu. Meragini Ogu. What did I do? That is one of the reasons why the Igbo man is always upright. The Igbo man, the Igbo community will never gather as a people to do evil because they believe in Ofo and Ogo. That is why we, are, from childhood we were told tales of how integrity and uprightness leads the people and gets them to succeed. But the world, by the help of Britain, ganged up 
and robbed us of that principle that we are building. Those things that form the stilt of evil man that he always look forward to truth. The world raped the evil and gave it serious psychological damage, which they have had opportunities to redress, but they keep widening the gap. By the time they disillusion the evils and let them know that truth no longer holds, the monster they will breed, they will pay for it. So I call on the world to retrace their steps and begin to let it be known that truth prevails. Britain, truth prevails. Don't disillusion the people who believe in truth and stand by the truth. The way you manage the Aburi case and create launch, launch Nigeria into war is evident. The world knows it. The way you are managing in the last few weeks to give Ibos a bad name in order for your foot soldiers, full and men, to, to come and slaughter them, we are aware of it. Britain, advise yourself. Advise yourself. Because what you sow, you will reap. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend. Uh, uh, what do you think should be the responses of our people towards situations like this? My primary call is for us to bridge in the gap. Let us stop this infighting. Let us close ranks because if you look around, the Nigerian government already know that they have no ground or local standing to hold Onyendu, except that they want to keep him there in order to actualize their evil games they are playing. Beyond the election, they want to take our land. They have done it in several ways. Ruga. Mil land resources, sending food soldiers into our forests, which we chased out. They have done it, instilling fear in us. And they have, they have been able to manage the global media to keep silent on it, to keep a blood out on it. So, we are, our enemies are plenty, but God is on our side. Yes. Yes. Let us close ranks and march as a one people. Victory is sure. Our fathers told us that truth stands. We believe our fathers. And as we march by the counsel of our fathers, closing ranks, we shall have victory. Okay, thank, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, I, have to, I have to ask. Uh, uh, Seeing the actions of uh, these people, do you think that this thing can not lead to people going in their own way to see that this well, injustice is at last? Which, uh, with everything happening, with everything happening currently, anyone who has a, a discerning spirit will see that Nigeria is coming to an end. Yes. You know, yes. Onyendu might be in prison today, but uh, most of you, most of you will understand that, and if you are very conversant with what is happening in the social media, you will see that uh, the special advice of media to the president of the Nigeria government, uh, Mr. Gaba Shehu, yesterday had to publish a video that was made last year by the spokesperson of the Northern Elders uh, Forum, where they were asking the Igbos to leave Nigeria peacefully. Now, the man who made this statement is not holding ele any elective office or any appointment in the federal government. 
and the, for a spokesperson of the federal government to have come to play this video or post it on his wall.